Yo, down here. What's going on guys, it is March 4th, right around 5 p.m. If you're watching this on the day it was uploaded, then it's March 5th, Thursday, and I'm probably sitting in a hotel room somewhere in Ohio by myself. I'm here for the Arnold Classic. I'll be here Thursday through Sunday, and I'll talk about that in just a second. As far as the training footage goes that you're watching, I decided to do a full body workout today. I already killed my body over the last couple of days, hitting every muscle group. And today, the reason I decided to do was full body is since I'm traveling over the next couple of days, I'm not sure what the gym situation is going to be like. So instead of completely annihilating, let's say, a pull workout, what if we want to train pull with everyone in Ohio for a collab? Then I'll be the person complaining that I just hit pull two days ago and that's why I'm so weak. So I decided, why not just get a full body and make sure you're hitting every muscle group before you go? Because I've been to these expos before and I know it's insane people trying to film, collab, train. It makes it difficult to get a good training session in. So I decided to just stick with some basic compound movements in the gym, get a little bit of work done, and then I still haven't even packed yet. It's five o'clock, so I gotta get moving on that in a little bit. But I did some squats, I did some bench press. Again, nothing very heavy, nothing high volume, just to get myself moving before sitting on a plane and doing the traveling. So the only thing I really didn't do as far as a big compound was deadlifts, just because they take time. You know, it was something that I figured if I was going to do deadlifts, I like to warm up for a decent amount of time before doing those and I didn't have that time. So I actually like full body workouts a lot. Some people are against them because they're not in the gym five or six days a week, which I think is what most of us prefer, but that's not feasible for everyone. I know a lot of people have really tight schedules. They can only make it to the gym three times a week. So if you are one of those people who can only get to the gym a few times a week, full body workouts are for you. And they're really for a lot of people. You have the ability to hit each muscle group three times per week, so you're getting in the frequency, you're obviously getting in plenty of volume, you're learning the movement better and better, so you're becoming more efficient at it, and compound movements is your, your bread and butter right there. So you're hitting multiple muscle groups with one movement. So you have your squat, you have your bench press, so you're hitting, your squat's hitting everything, you got your bench press, you're hitting your chest, your shoulders, your tries. If you wanna do some deadlifts, you got your back, you got your legs, and then you, you throw your accessories in at the end and you don't go too high on volume, with those accessory movements because you'll be doing them another two days that week. So I decided to just throw in a couple of accessory movements. I did do some leg extensions and calves at the end of my training as well as some lower back extensions, but I figured you guys probably don't wanna see that anyway. But yeah, like I said, just went into the gym for a full body to get some work done before heading out. Well, you guys are watching this. It doesn't matter. You get the point. <laughs> But yeah, I actually need to, uh, oh, the uh, expo. You guys probably wanna know what's going on with that. Thursday through Sunday, I will be in Ohio for the expo at the Quest Nutrition booth on Friday and Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m. So both days I'll be there, a ton of people will be there, great YouTubers, Instagrammers, everyone. So if you're going, please come by, shake my hand, give me a hug, take a picture, say what's up. I'm only going because I wanna meet all of you guys for everyone that is going there. And I'll be there. Brittany will be there on Saturday and Sunday as well. She has work Thursday and Friday, so unfortunately can't come as early as I am. But Saturday morning, she'll be there. She'll be at the Quest booth from 12 to 3 as well. And then Sunday, we'll kind of just be hanging out. So make sure you're following on Instagram, on Twitter. I'll be updating you guys with where I am. Or if you want to tweet at me, say what's up. Let me know where you're, you're, you are, you're at and we can take a picture or whatever the case is. So that's it, I'm really looking forward to meeting everybody. If you have my number, hit me up. If you don't, there's probably a good reason for that. But tweet at me, Instagram at me, tag me, do all that good stuff so I can meet you guys this weekend in Ohio. But it's getting late and I gotta pack, so I'll talk to you in just a minute. All right, so we're all packed up. I'll show you guys what I am bringing to Columbus, Ohio with me. Got my luggage right here and everything that I need right inside. Now I'm just playing. I'm actually one of these people who absolutely hate packing for trips. It doesn't matter if it's one day or if it's for one week. I just don't like taking my belongings and putting them in a bag and putting them on a plane and taking them to a hotel room. I love traveling. I love meeting people. I love going to new places. But I'm not a fan of packing up my life and taking it with me. So I'm a minimalist when I pack, or at least I try to be. I completely just lied. I'm not a minimalist at all. I actually bring more shit than I really need just in case. Never know what you're going to be doing when you're away, so you always pack an extra pair of jeans, a pair of dress shoes, a watch, cologne, this, that. 
Then you end up having a whole bunch of stuff that you never even took out of the suitcase, but somehow it ended up under the bed in the hotel room. So anyway, I actually have to pack for real. I'm not taking any supplements or any of that with me. I'm going to a an expo where they have tons of free samples if I really need supplements. I'll also be at the Quest booth. I'm pretty sure they'll have some stuff with protein in it there. And as far as vitamins go, maybe I'll take a couple of multivitamins with me, but I'm always eating fruits and vegetables, so I'm really not too worried about that. I don't want to deal with bringing powders and pills with me. So I'm actually going to pack for real because we're really running out of time here. I'm going to head over to my brother's house tonight, stay with him. He actually lives about 10 minutes away from the airport. I'm about 40 to 45 minutes away. So I stay there. He'll drive me there on his way to work in the morning, and that will be it. So I'm actually going to pack up for real, go shower, get dressed, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, so finally all packed up. I decided I'm going to be a minimalist, bring the least amount of stuff as possible so I don't have to worry about carrying stuff. So I got my suitcase right here. Like I said, just packing really light for this trip. I got my neck pillow that Brittany just got me, my first neck pillow I've ever owned, so really excited for that. We gotta say bye to Zeus. Buddy, I'm gonna miss you, dude. I'm gonna miss you. Wanna come with? You wanna come with? Come on. Wanna come with me? Just got to Brittany's house. Gotta pack some of her stuff up. Since we're only gonna take one suitcase, it doesn't really make sense for her to check a bag since she'll only be here for one day. So she'll be flying out, what time on Saturday morning? Early. Early Saturday morning, so she could be there for the expo. But I'm about to head to my brother's in just a little bit. He's leaving me. <laughs> but we just gotta pack up some of her stuff, so. Ready? So we made it here to Queens where my brother Jay lives, but now the fun part is trying to find parking on the street, which I highly doubt I'll be able to do. So this might take a few hours. I might even miss my flight tomorrow morning, but we got to make this happen. So I'll catch in with you guys as soon as we find a parking spot. Hey, move over. Move over. All right, so we made it. It's currently Saturday. Finally found a parking spot. Just kidding. We're here, settled in, eating pretzels, editing the video that you're watching right now, and this is going to be the end of it, so I can get this up for you guys tomorrow morning, Thursday, and then I have another video coming out Saturday, so just trying to keep the footage going while I'm away, while I get some more footage to put up next week. So thank you guys as always for watching, I appreciate the support. I'm gonna cut this off, finish editing, and maybe get to bed in a few hours, and then off to Ohio. So. Pick up where we left off tomorrow morning, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So as I've mentioned in previous videos, one of the major functions of your pecs is adduction of the arm. So bringing your arm closer to the midline or sagittal plane of your body. And oftentimes when people do dumbbell flies or pec deck or even cable flies with two arms, this will be the end range of motion. And not to say that's a bad thing, but I think you could squeeze a little bit more out of that by bringing your humerus further across your body and getting that full range of motion with one arm.